I've watched the zero waste movement go from all about the products you need to buy to staunchly anti buying anything new to now like don't judge people for what they need and what they're buying as long as they're doing their best. And I think that's where we should be. I think that's the best place for us to be. But for me personally, I've actually recorded this video. This should be, I think, my fifth time in a row or my fourth. I think technically my fifth, but the fourth time I'm doing it in July. And that's because July is plastic free July, which basically just means it's the month where we focus on just how often we use plastic in our everyday lives and more specifically single use plastic because that's a plastic that's the real problem. So my goal with remaking this video year after year is that there are constantly new people finding the channel so they need the information of the things I actually use on an everyday basis to reduce my plastic consumption. But more than that, it is to show that if you do buy good quality zero waste swaps, they will last you for years and to show you the ones that are like my tried and true, right? So without further ado, let's get into it. So first of all, the star of the show has changed. This is definitely the first time since making these videos that I have a new backpack. The complaints I had about my old backpack is that it was made of recycled materials. It was a vegan leather though. And so what happened is the leather on the handles and like on the trim was starting to peel off. So it was already kind of like a thumbs down on the quality for me. But then after that, the handles like where they attach started to fray and I could have gotten that fixed. The other problem I had is that my uh, backpack didn't have a water bottle holder. This one didn't solve that problem, but we'll get into it. So I bought this backpack probably at least six months ago now, probably a little bit more than that. And I've gotten a lot of questions about what's the brand, what's the brand, what's the brand. Um, when I talk about it, or if you see it in any of my videos, mostly on Instagram and TikTok, people have asked. And I held out on telling you because the last backpack I used, now I probably wouldn't recommend it. That was after years of use though. So, you know, after years of using this one, I might feel the same way, but I definitely wanted to give it a proper trial run before I told you. So this backpack is by the brand called Day Owl. They are a really sustainable company and they're not sponsoring this video. I would love to work with them. Shout out to them. If you guys go check out their site, let them know I sent you because that's how I work with brands and that's kind of how you get these videos for free. But this is a fully natural material, which after years of using that other backpack, I'm realizing is going to be a lot easier to maintain, to clean and to repair. So repairability has started to become a very like big part of what I consider when buying something that I intend to use long-term. Um, is it something that I can repair so that I can keep using it years after year? And, and I will say my other backpack that you guys have seen me use for years and years, I still like that brand. I just think the quality could be better for something that we wanna use for many years. And I didn't throw that backpack away or anything it actually turned into a go bag in my emergency kit. But so far this backpack has been really great. Um, it has a separate laptop sleeve, which is something else my other backpack didn't have that I really wanted for travel. Um, and then it has two side zippers, which is really cool. And I guess I can show you what's in them first. I actually really, really love the double zippers because of this. So on this side, I keep my external battery. I've talked about this a gajillion times. This is by a brand called Nimble. Um, they use recycled materials and all of their stuff. They're B certified corporation and all the good things that we love to see. I'll leave this link below. Along with this is also, no, this is from a different company. It's not from Nimble. I think this company is called Too Good. I don't know. I got it on Earth Hero. I'll leave it linked below as well. But it's a multi-pronged charger so that I can charge anything I need. It has an end for my phone. It has a micro USB and then it has the USB-C, I think is what it's called. So I can charge all my cameras, my um, Pokemon Go uh, ball. That's mostly what I use this for. And it's really cool because it can sit right here in this pocket. And when I need to use it to charge something, I can plug it in and then just pull this out and charge whatever I'm needing to. So I really like the side pockets on this backpack for that reason. And then on my other pocket is where you can keep sunglasses. So I don't use the um, sunglasses case I used to have because this is so much more convenient to just pull them out of the side of my backpack that that's what I've been using. So I've really been loving that. And I can always tell which side my glasses are on because it's the side with 
with this little um, like tab. And I think this shows which number backpack I actually have from Day Owl. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But I always can tell which time my glasses are on because they're always on the side with the tab. And then uh, these sunglasses I've had for many years. I've talked about them and if I ever lose them. Oh, actually, fun story time. But when we were on our most recent vacation, I was in the beach and the waves there were intense like you had to get past where they were breaking and then you were good but if you ever got caught up where they were breaking they could just kind of like roll you up the beach and quite literally they did Madison and I multiple times but one of the times my hat I was wearing a big hat because sun protection me like this and my hat and I got rolled by a wave my hat came off and this little kid he was so sweet he helped me I couldn't open my eyes because like salt sand all my eyes and I go my hat my hat my hat and this kid handed back to me and I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. I could barely open my eyes. Another wave came, knocked me down and knocked off these glasses. And you guys, they were lost in the ocean over these waves that knocked me over for a good, almost five minutes. Madison was helping me with goggles on. We were running around trying to find these because if I ever lost these, I would be very upset. And she actually found them. Like they were physically off of my head, lost, and she found them after like five minutes of them being in the ocean. All that to say that if I ever lose these glasses, I will be very sad and they are by Pila. Using sustainable materials is still important and obviously we want everybody to be treated and paid fairly for what they're doing. But I think more than anything at the end of the day, when we're talking about sustainability, durability is what matters. With my sunglasses and with my backpack, I think I've seen that a lot, so just something to keep in mind. Before I get into this backpack, I also wanna say that I haven't exclusively been using this backpack this summer. I use it every time I travel and if I'm going to be gone for like a full day and I need to bring up like everything that you're gonna see that I take, I will bring my backpack. And so I've been traveling a lot more and that's when this comes into play, which I didn't realize this when I bought this, that fanny packs were trendy, but apparently they are. I bought this with the full intention to wear this like a fanny pack, like, like a tourist. And I was just gonna be okay with it because women's clothes Clothes just aren't made with pockets, which is a whole other rant I could get on. But in order to just carry a couple things that you would need when you're like out and about while traveling, a fanny pack, I thought. Then I realized that it's trendy to use a fanny pack, just not to wear it the way I intended. This is the trendy way to apparently wear a fanny bag. So this thing has been super helpful. In addition to my backpack, I just wanted to mention that. This one is by Girlfriend Collective, but I bought it on Poshmark because they don't make it anymore. Um, and I really like it because the strap is big enough. Like that was a big problem when I was trying to figure out a fanny pack to find on Poshmark. It had to be by a brand that would make this big enough to fit all body types. And Girlfriend Collective, of course, comes in clutch there, but it, look on Poshmark if you want to find one of these. Since I was talking about those sunglasses, when I mentioned these, um, I've been wanting these for a really long time, since like 2014 probably. Um, but I've talked myself out of them for a really, really long time. And then I went to the Real Real when I was in LA and they were there and it was just like, a moment of faith, you know what I mean? Um, basically, the real real is a place where you can get designer things secondhand, so these are Ray-Bans. But it's helpful because if I'm not taking my backpack and I just grab my fanny pack, I do have a pair of sunglasses that like I can use because these live in here now. That was very much a side note. Okay, back to my backpack. My water bottle is not in my backpack because unfortunately all the places I looked when considering backpacks, I couldn't find a backpack that made sense that I liked with a water bottle holder. I was just always meant to carry my water bottle outside of my backpack. But I will say that when I'm out and about, I can just put it here on top and there's two handles if you can see and then you can just do this number here and it can just sit on top which is enough for me, you know, I'll take it, it's fine. This is my Hydro Flask, which I have had for many years, and it's the one that I actually use on a daily basis. I also have the plastic-free clean canteen that if you truly want like a plastic-free situation, you could check out, but it holds a lot less water, and this one, the plastic it has is because it has the straw, which, uh... I love. Can you hear that? That's ice. Yeah, I like cold water. So this helps keep it cold, obviously. And it's dinged up pretty good and got a million stickers on it that my cousin gave me. So it's not the most aesthetic thing, but it's practical. As we all know, to avoid single-use plastic utensils, I have my bamboo travel set. And I, you know, I don't need to say this 20 million times. You guys should already know this, probably, hopefully, if you're watching. But you don't have to go and buy any of these things. Any of these things, actually. Whatever you have that you can use is fine. And especially when it comes to 
to utensil sets, um, you can just use what you have from home. I personally really like these because the airport never gets upset with me about having like a, a knife, a real like, metal knife they never say anything about the bamboo one the bamboo is lighter um, and obviously I carry many things so I'll, I'll take it for that reason and more than all those things the carrying set is super super helpful um, to not lose track of everything and not have to re-roll it back up and things get everywhere in your backpack it's just really practical for me and I bought them like years ago and I still use them on a weekly basis so this one is from earth here and I'll leave it linked below but whatever you can do to avoid single-use utensils especially now that it's summer and you're probably going out of the house a lot more than you have the last couple years. In Texas specifically, a lot of places since COVID have been using disposables a lot more, so I can avoid those. But also here in Texas, we have very much a food truck culture and obviously they're always giving you disposable utensils. So get you one of these. Okay, I didn't know these were in here, um, but I've been carrying stasher bags with me a lot more recently. This is definitely from travel. So if you take, I found that if I have these in my bag, I'm always gonna use them. I don't know what all, let's see, on my last trip, um, we needed to pack sandwiches for the day. Like we were gonna be out all day and didn't have time to get lunch. So we had to pack a lunch, had these on me so that I could use them. Same thing if I need to put chips in there for the day. Same thing if I actually packed some of my makeup into one of these like I don't know I just find them to be useful especially when you're traveling so I've been keeping these in here apparently my phone is also in my bag always of course let's see if anybody has texted me yes telling me things I need to get done today but anyway, my phone is secondhand. I, I've definitely gotten a lot of criticism in the past for using a smartphone in general. It's 2022, I don't know how you expect me to exist as a human without one of these and do the work that needs to be done for like activism. It's not possible. But I always recommend Trade More. I'll leave them linked in the description as well as Pila. So this phone case, and actually like before I go into the phone case, this grippy thing, if you don't have one, you really need it. You just really do. I know pop sockets were cool for a long time and now they're not as cool anymore. I think people are just looking for stuff that's functional and this little grippy, people in my life who are not even like sustainably conscious or like really that into it. My sister has one, my aunt ordered one recently. These are really, really helpful because well, it's obviously a pop socket, but also it can use, be used as a stand, like a regular, whatever you wanna call it, I don't know. But their little grippies are made out of the same material as their compostable phone cases. So the grippies are also compostable just like their phone cases are. And they have so many, you guys, so many designs now for their phone cases. There's absolutely something for everyone. Peel is just everywhere in my bag at this point. My sunglasses, my phone, my grippy. I also have an AirTag. And Peel even makes little AirTag holders now. So if you need an AirTag holder, get one that's made out of compostable material from a B certified corporation, carbon neutral, and just an OG on this channel, okay? We're Pila super fans over here. One of the problems I have experienced since carrying my fanny pack is that I don't always have reusable bags on me. Uh, you'll catch me walking with armfuls of stuff if I don't bring my backpack and only bring my fanny pack. Anyway, in my backpack, I always keep my reusable bags, never go anywhere without them. I have probably like six Chico bags at this point and my smaller ones that my friend Bailey gave me years ago still use them still love them but they're smaller so they kind of live in my car as of right now and I keep the two bigger ones in my backpack this one is uh, from Earth Hero and this one is actually has a really cool story I'll tell you about it in a second but since I've started using Chico bag they've actually made improvements to themselves as a business as well so now not only are their reusable bags super compact really easy to use which helps you cut down on plastic waste in that way but they're also made from recycled materials this is 99% um, I'm guessing they just can't claim 100%, I'm not really sure, but they have their own recycling program. And actually all the bags I have, I've never had a problem with the quality. They hold up so well and I use them on a weekly basis. So if this is something that you need that you think would help you remember your reusable bags, I highly recommend Chico Bag. Like I just, I can't say enough good things about them, but like what they are is the good thing about them. They're high quality, made of recycled materials, a responsible company, um, just all good things all around. So that's this one. But this one is even cooler. This one I actually bought when I was in Yellowstone uh, for their 150 year anniversary. And it's the iconic bison of the park. But then they also use the moon as his eye, the trout as this horn. Um, the trees here are obviously iconic of the Yellowstone Valley. The wolf, the most iconic creature I think of Yellowstone because of the conservation like restoration projects they've done with them. It's incredible. If you don't know about it, watch the documentary. And then an eagle, 
obviously iconic as well. So I don't know. I was like really excited to see a Chico bag in the National Park store. That's the other thing. This wasn't bought from like some random store around Yellowstone. The money that like when you buy from the actual National Park store, it actually goes back to the National Parks. So I don't know. I was already going to buy it because it was in the National Park store. And then the very nice woman who checked me out told me the whole story behind it. And so this is my new favorite reusable bag. I don't leave home without sunscreen. And this is the one that's in my backpack currently. And it smells you guys listen oh my god I love this sunscreen so much okay I just went on a, a very long trip three weeks I was gone um, in the Sun every day a lot this I actually bought when I was there and it was made locally but you can you can buy this I think you can buy this from them and ship it to you um, anywhere you may be and this is obviously a plastic free tube right here um, and it gives you like a lot like this is a lot of product and it it honestly, like, I wish I could, I wish I could demonstrate it for you, but it spreads so, so well. So this is made locally in Hawaii with local ingredients, um, cruelty-free, vegan, all those good things. They also have a tinted one, which I bought the tinted one because it's obviously better for Madison. A lot of other mineral sunscreens can turn her purple. So those of you with darker skin, this is the brand to look at. Yeah, I just really, really, really like this sunscreen and it's taken me a long time to find a plastic free reef safe sunscreen that I like. I have a lot of reef safe sunscreens that work well, but this is the best one, honestly, that I've tested over so many years that is plastic free and reef safe, sustainable ingredients, a really, really like sustainable ethical company itself. And honestly, it doesn't smell nasty. And that's a hard thing to find. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't know this was in here. This is red pepper. Um, I'm a little bit of a red pepper fiend, if you didn't know. I don't go anywhere without it anymore because I've made that mistake so many times in my life. So it's just in this little jar and I just refill it at my bulk bins. <laughs> I'm obsessed with red pepper. Red pepper and sriracha, all time, every day. If I ever get to the point, like so many people in my life now have problems with hot food. If I ever get to the point where I can't put red pepper on everything, it's all over, like just, just, we're done. I realize I'm talking a lot, but the thing is, these are my favorite swaps. Like there are swaps I use and that I've tried and that, you know, are in my home. These are the things I use like every day and I'm really passionate about them, I guess, I don't know. This is not an exception. This is Plains, um, well, it's just body lotion. I use it specifically for my hands because I have some sensory issues. If my hands ever feel dry, it drives me insane. This is actually their like travel size one. So I keep it in my backpack. I keep it in my car um, and then I keep like a full-size one in my bed and in my office But this is really nice because if you didn't just see like I just locked it and it's not gonna come out Like you don't ever have to worry about lotion getting all over your backpack with this Which is why I like it and then you can just turn it and squeeze it But plain is a B certified corporation woman-owned part of 1% for the planet. They use sustainable ingredients They refill these and send them back to you They're just an overall really good brand that I have been using and can testify that they are incredible for years if plain is is a high price point for you because it is a very sustainable ethical company and a lot of times when companies don't take shortcuts they are expensive um, there's also uh, lotion bars that you could try uh, if you have similar problems to me but I always have a plain travel size lotion on me and my tiffin this is kind of giant and to be honest it doesn't always live in my backpack um, they live over there by my garage door and so whenever I'm headed out to eat I just grab it but this did go on all of my trips with me came in handy many times especially trips to the beach where we could put like sandwich cucumbers strawberries that's how this was used a lot during my last trip and if you keep it with you and you travel with these people are always asking where'd you get that what is that that's so smart and actually that's one of my favorite things about this tiffin like I have other ones that are smaller and like less loud and I could also even take like a reusable plastic container with me and sometimes I do but it's fun to take this places because people do look and they do notice like oh yeah, it makes sense that I could bring my own container for my leftovers instead of just getting a disposable one. Like I definitely think this gets people thinking. It's been a long time since I've been able to say that because obviously I stopped going out to eat for a really long time. Like I just am still just like getting back into that. But I'm having fun again, experimenting with letting people see this and hopefully like getting their minds starting to think about reducing their waste and just having that little bit of a positive impact. My Tiffin is one of those things for sure. 
I do have a reusable mask with me at all times because especially with travel, you never know who and when people are gonna want you to wear one because businesses have every right to say that in my establishment, you need to wear one. So I have one with me at all times. I bought this when I sadly lost my last one in my trip in Philadelphia. This is from Marine Layer. Uh, I believe theirs are made from recycled materials. So I'm not married to this mask or anything. Like it's not the best or anything, but it does have adjustable like little things for your ears which is cool if you need one. I mean, that's just where I got it, just because I had to buy it in person. And then I do have my final straw. I always have a straw, and I don't wanna hear the bullshit about you could just not use a straw. I know, I choose to use one. Like I said, I've noticed so many changes in the zero waste movement over time, and it went from everybody needs a reusable straw to actually literally no one does, just don't use one if you don't need one. You don't need to buy a reusable straw. And I understand the energy behind that is like we don't need to buy something for there to be a solution. But if your preference is using a straw, get a reusable one and keep the one that you have, which I've kept this one for at least three years now. But I think that was one of the concerns when Final Straw came out, like people didn't think they would last that long. But this thing has a lifetime warranty and uh, again I use it on a weekly basis for the last several years and I still love it but actually I think that is it my backpack is now empty so if you guys want to check out anything I talked about today I'm gonna leave it all linked below I hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration about like things that people actually use who are trying to reduce their waste not just make a video and like I've been using these things for a really long time and I swear by every single one of the things we talked about today uh, happy plastic free July come follow me over on TikTok talk especially I'm gonna be making a lot of content this month about plastic free July how to reduce your waste how we should be holding corporations and governments accountable good things and not so good things that are happening with the plastic free movement so I'll see you over there and remember until next time you cannot do all the good that the world needs but the world needs all the good that you can do bye guys